Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, however, allayed the fear of the CSOs over their concerns on the issue of security, assuring them of the safety of all persons that would participate in the elections and the protection of the process. The INEC chairman further promised that the commission would intercede with the security agencies to grant CSOs unhindered access to voting and collation location during the elections. In previous elections, civil society organizations have expressed concern about the safety of persons involved in elections, as well as the protection of the process, including the polling units and collection centers. Similarly, civil society organizations have on several occasions asked the commission to intercede with the security agencies to grant you unimpeded access to voting and collation locations. I want to reassure you that we'll continue to do so as we engage with the security agencies, both at the national level and in the three states. At the same time, I wish to remind all accredited observers to strictly adhere to the code of conduct for election observation. In a remark, the representative of Justice and Equity Organization, Tude Bafunsho, urged the electorates in Imo, Kogi, and Bayesa states to come out en masse and cast their votes. He also called on INEC to ensure adequate security on election day. It is our conviction that with excellent work done by Independent National Electoral Commission and with our experience for the excellent work they did during 2023 general election, the forthcoming Imo and Bayesa State and Kogi State of cycling governorship elections will also be credible with adequate and transparent credible arrangement already put on ground by Independent National Electoral Commission. So it is our candid appeal to the voters the electorates to ensure that they come at Emma's on 11 November 2023 to perform their civic right and ensuring that they vote for the candidate of their choice. Professor Mahmoud is expected to brief CSOs about the Commission's level of preparedness for the Bayesa, Imo, and Kogi governorship elections during the consultative meeting. Praise Irabo reporting for BTV News.